So I've been pulled over by cops many times throughout the years. However, during one of these instances, guns were involved. In light of the current Black Lives Matter protests, I want to share my experiences on a related matter. I'm not going to convince you of anything. I'm not going to preach to you. I just simply want to share an experience. Now, I want to give you a bit of background on myself. I've probably been pulled over 25 plus times throughout my entire life. Most of these have been during high school when I thought I was cool and would race cars all the time. Uh, I've been pulled over for things like reckless driving, speeding, running stop signs, all sorts of different things. I've totaled three cars, uh, one of which was definitely my fault, maybe two. And I've been pulled over during the day, during the night, as late as 3 a.m. Uh, when it's pitch black. And the reason why I'm telling you this is not because I want to tell you how bad of a driver I am, but rather that I've had many run-ins with the cops throughout the years. So with that in mind, there, like I mentioned, was one instance in which a cop pulled their guns out on me, albeit uh, indirectly, just once. And the this video, I want to share that experience. So this occurred sometime in my college years. I don't remember how old I was, but I was probably 18 or 19 because it was early on in college. And I was down in South Florida during one of the holidays for school. And my friend and I were heading out to a club in Miami. It was about 9 or 10 p.m. at night. We were speeding a little bit all the way in the left lane, going about maybe 90 to 100 miles an hour, listening to music, jamming out. It was good vibes. And all of a sudden, I don't remember how I noticed or my friend noticed, but I looked to the right side of me and there's a cop that's going the same speed as we are with his windows rolled down and yelling at us to pull over. And so we did, you know, we pulled over and I was like, all right, cool. This is just a normal traffic stop, nothing to think about. And so once we pulled over, uh, everything is still pretty routine. You know, it's night, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Lights usually flash on your car and that's what happened. The lights from his patrol car flashed into our car. And then I looked into the rear side mirror, which I usually do to see, you know, what's going on, what's the cop going to do. And what I'm usually accustomed to is the cops would walk towards me and then say, you know, do you know why we pulled you over? Um, that didn't happen this time. Once the light was shined into the car, the next thing I noticed was he didn't move. He stayed in his car, uh, the car door was open, and he had his gun drawn and pointed at the driver's side of the window, at my friend. And he begins to yell, put your hands up, get out of the car, and walk towards me. Now all of this happens in a matter of seconds and we're both probably a little startled and shocked uh, I, I definitely was. I didn't even know what to do. And to be honest, I've never felt scared in my life ever when I got stopped for by the cops. My hands are never on the steering wheel. They're never up. They are just on my lap. You know, I've never had to think about that. And in that case, I was probably the same. I don't remember if I had my hands up, but I was startled and a little shocked and probably afraid. My friend was definitely was too. And the cop was giving us directions, or at least him, hands up, hands out the window, step out of the car, walk backwards. And that's what I watched him do, slowly. And I am looking at the rear side mirror, and I see, you know, he makes it back there. The cops put him onto the back of the car and is patting him down. I don't remember anything else that really happened I don't remember if there was shouting or if there was, uh, or, or they, if they came up to me. I don't remember any of that. But 
if it wasn't obvious already, my friend is black. His name is Badar Bolad, and he was and still is my best friend to this day. Now, I don't know what I would have done if anything would have happened to him that night. But I can tell you for certain, I will never forget that night. I don't know what conclusion you will draw from this story, but I hope that your conclusion will be the same as mine. Thanks for listening.